I'd love you to review other sneaky terms like rosemary extract, celery powder, etc. So yes, just like I said on that last post, there are some, you know, sneaky terms. Uh, I talked about evaporated cane juice, how that was used for a while so people didn't have to say sugar on the label. A lot of times these are going to be things that are on the more natural organic brands because they want to get around having to say specific ingredients or list specific preservatives. So I'm going to show some examples. So I have a longer video on this, but um, these like natural deli meats, no nitrites or nitrates added, they are actually being added in the form of celery salt, celery, celery powder, um, some other vegetable powders can be used as well, but it has to have a little asterisk there and there's actually a little note that says that it's coming from the celery salt. So it is being added, it's just not being added in the synthetic forms, but nitrates and nitrates are the same regardless of the source so those are being added so i would consider that sort of like a sneaky thing that these more natural companies are doing so they don't have to list out those synthetic uh you know nitrates and nitrates which consumers there's a negative perception but they are being added it's just in a different form companies like cliff bar like to advertise their especially their kids products as you know, none of the no-nos, uh, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, no genetically modified ingredients, none of those things indicate a safer or more nutritious product. But I just want to point out something that companies do often, and sorry, this is kind of hard to read, but they put the first ingredient as an oat blend and then parentheses rolled oats, um, oat flour, and oat fiber. So um sometimes companies will do that so they can put that as the first ingredient so you'll see the second ingredient there is tapioca syrup and a lot of times they don't want to list a sugar as the first ingredient because the consumer will think that um you know like they just don't want to see sugar as the first ingredient or a form of sugar so they'll do something like this like oat blend so all of these three oat um, ingredients that are included in that oat blend add up to more than the tapioca syrup so they can list that as the first ingredient. Otherwise, if you were to list all those oat ingredients separately, the tapioca syrup would probably end up being the first in the ingredient deck. And a lot of times they don't want to have a sh sugar source as the first ingredient. Um, I mean, you, you can look at the nutrition label for the amount of sugar. So um, it doesn't really matter, you know, where it is on the ingredient deck because you can see the exact grams of total sugars and added sugars. But that is just something, something companies will do to get around having sugar as the first ingredient. So these things aren't incorrect, but they are a little deceptive.